Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today's speed build is a little bit different. Um, it is a like single mum beach house. I, I don't really know what I was going for at the start of this build. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So I started off kind of with those weird stairs and decided it would be one of those homes where you have the upstairs and the downstairs like um, swapped. So you go upstairs and that's where the main living area is. Um, I ended up just calling this house like a, a beach house, I guess, because it is in uh, Brindleton Bay near the beach, obviously. So it's a beach house. You didn't need that explained to you. But anyway, um, it's kind of, it's definitely like a strange build. I like it. Um, but it was just one of those ones where I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to see what happens. And I guess what happened was a little bit different to what I was expecting. I think that with this build, I was originally going to do kind of like a sort of rustic kind of build. And then I like got halfway through it building the exterior and I was like, there's nothing rustic about this. It's like very nearly modern, I suppose. So it is definitely a little bit quirky on the inside of the house. Um, but yeah, at the moment, obviously we're doing the outside. And, um, yeah, as I said, it's also the upstairs and downstairs are kind of swapped around, which is actually like a thing that happens in real life. I know definitely that there are houses out there where they will have everything upstairs rather than downstairs. Um, I've even seen homes where they have, like, you walk in on the first floor, but then you have to go up the stairs. So with this one, the front door is on the second story. So it makes a little bit more sense. But honestly, I, like, realistically would hate a, ho a house like this. I'm not super into like two-story homes as it is but, like to have to walk up that many stairs every single time you come home would actually drive me insane but then again I'm also like pretty lazy um I also forgot to mention that this build is base game and pets only I've been on this whole like restricted pack build lately um when I've finished this one I really want to do a rustic kind of build which is what I was going for with this but it just didn't quite end up that way um but I want to do like laundry day parenthood and pets maybe so while it's not like a one pack speed build it's still like a restricted pack speed build and i feel like it'll be a little bit more accessible to other people because most people probably don't have all the packs in fact i don't know why i'm getting so puffed my throat's a little bit sore today i don't have like corona or anything my throat's just a little bit sore so i'm kind of like i don't know how to explain it like i'm talking through a sore throat right now but anyway um, I don't actually have all the packs. I kind of just, I don't know what it was. I just sort of stopped buying them. Like, a new pack would come out and I was like, eh, mm, don't really want it, whatever. Like, I have, um, I think University, I definitely bought that pack. I don't have the M Mishimo, Moshimo, Mosquito. I know some people call it Mosquito pack. <laughs> um, I don't have, like, the Machino or whatever it's called. I don't have that pack. I don't have the pets pack. That one I kind of just thought was a bit silly, to be honest, and I just never really bought it. Um, I'll buy them all eventually, and I don't have the magic pack, the Glimmer Brook one. And I don't know, again, like, magic just doesn't really appeal to me that much. I'm more of, like, a realistic player in the game, so yeah, magic never really appealed to me. And then if they are going to do magic, I want it to be, like, Sims 3. Sims 3 magic was awesome, and I want fairies. They were so cute. So, yeah, I don't have that pack. Um... But most people probably have even less packs than that. It's just not super realistic to have all the packs. So I'm definitely wanting to do some restricted and one pack builds. So now we're inside the house and this kitchen is like probably like my favorite style of kitchen to do is these small like pokey kind of kitchens. I don't know. I just feel like when they're cozy like that, they turn out better. Um, large kitchens I find are a lot harder to sort of furnish and stuff. So I just find like smaller spaces in general, kind of like smaller homes are a bit easier to decorate. I was having a little bit of trouble with the windows though, um, just because I couldn't put like a corner piece without it like blocking the windows and looking really weird. So I still wanted to have like some cabinets in there and I was just trying to figure out like the best way to do the cabinets without it looking silly and without it like affecting the windows or anything. So I do, I think I go back to that a little bit more. Not 100% sure. I built this like a while ago, so I can't completely remember. Um, the inside of this house, like especially the dining area, I suppose has a bit of a rustic feel to it. But definitely not like, I don't know, I think it's like pretty rustic and cozy, but it's definitely not like a cottage kind of thing, I suppose. Um, so yeah, here I go back to the kitchen again. I think I put these little shelves in. I definitely put in a few little things like that. Um, just because the kitchen was not looking 100% to me. 
Um, and then because this build is a little bit strange, it is kind of pokey and like, I don't know, there's a lot of like weird little rooms in it and stuff. So I, I did kind of have to go back every now and then. And then I also put those tiles in and there must be new, like I'm pretty sure they came with a, um, what is it, an update or something. But I really like those tiles. I think that they're really nice. And I'm so happy that they're in the game because base game just doesn't have tiles and it just kind of triggers me a little bit. Um, and then with our dining table, I put the, um, the high chair, like, as part of the table and then put the spare dining chair over near the window, which I feel is, like, super realistic. Like, if you, like, no dining set comes with, like, five chairs. You'd get, like, six. So, I kind of like that. And it was also, like, an extra little piece of decoration that I didn't have to worry about putting there. So, that worked out well. Um, and then just kind of making this little pseudo entry area because the house is kind of, like, you enter straight into everything it probably looks a little bit strange on that end and then the other thing is um there's no bathroom upstairs i don't think I think the bathroom's only downstairs so as like again such an impractical house this house would like suck to live in and the living room is also downstairs because there just wasn't enough room upstairs um i actually we went down to like the snow once and we stayed in this little like snow cabin thing and it was kind of like three stories so the top story was a bedroom and then the middle story was like kind of the mostly like the kitchen and living space and then downstairs was like more bedrooms but there was no bathroom on the main floor and it was so random but i suppose like these things happen i've definitely been in like weird pokey strange little homes these things happen so i was also going for like a slightly mismatched theme as well just kind of imagining that like again like realistically a lot of people don't have super matchy matchy furniture they might just have whatever bits they can grab so this was just supposed to be like a lived in maybe you picked up a few things from here and there so it doesn't completely match um then i had this random little bit here and i decided to turn it into a plant area which again like <laughs> That is realistic. Like, if I had an awkward space like this with those windows, I'd absolutely just stack it with plants. So I made this the plant zone. Um, so while you might think it's a little bit random, if you're like a plant mum like me, this is kind of like, as I was building this, I was like, damn, I wish I had those windows in my house. One thing I really want to do in my house is I wish that I had some kind of, like, green room. That would be amazing. It would be so cool. I have, like, a room at the back of my house. It was supposed to just be like a spare room, but I've kind of turned it into my plant room, my plant jungle, and I'm like, that room is forever mine. So <laughs> I love doing like little plant areas in The Sims. And I also put in that little like table and chair there because I thought how cute would it be to like sit there in the morning in the sunshine. Um, this is the kids' bedroom. I think this is two girls that I kind of furnished for in this house. I had that in mind. Um, here we go, coming back to, like, none of the furniture matching. It always triggers me that, like, the wood shades just don't match. I wish that they just had, like, five, um, like, wood shades. And every single piece of furniture has those five wood shades, a black and a white. Like, and then all the other ones as well. But at least then you could make things match. It just does my head in quite a little bit. Um, but we, yeah, I don't know. We got there in the end. And I also kind of liked using this older style dresser. I feel like it was like, you know, you get a new bed, but here's an older dresser and mixing and matching the older and newer looking furniture, I think kind of creates a bit more of a realistic house. Um, another thing I always find hard with furnishing is those, um, dresses. I just kind of feel like we don't have a lot of like practical clutter of things that you'd put on a dresser. And I'm like, I think back to what I used to have on my dresser. And I suppose, like, you'd put a TV or something, but for the most part, like, what do you put on a dresser? Comment down below, what do you guys put on your dresses in real life? Because I don't have a dresser. Like, I'm trying to think about it. I don't think I've had a dresser for, like, wow, years. Because when I lived with my parents, I had, like, a dresser. Then I moved into an apartment and we just had like walk-in robes, so I didn't have a dresser at all. Then we moved in with my grandma and we had like those robes as well, so I didn't have a dresser. And then we like moved into the house we have now and again we have like cupboards, we just don't have a dresser. So I'm like, what do you put on a dresser? I've spoken about it way too much. But anyway, <laughs> um, this is that was obviously the toddler room, I've spoken through it. Um, but I put that little chair in there because I have this idea that like you have a little toddler and you like rock them to sleep or something. I don't know, I'm probably like making this up. I don't even have kids, I don't really know. But 
I do remember, like, when my sister was little, my mum would, like, rock her to sleep, but she'd do it in the lounge room. So, I mean, same diff, I suppose. Um, this room was a little bit hard to furnish because it was so, like, long. But I got there in the end, and I still like the kind of ever so slightly mismatched, um, different pieces of furniture put in there sort of theme that we had going. So I think that it did turn out well in the end. I've been having like a big struggle lately with doing like master bedrooms. I don't know what it is, but it's like every one I do, I'm like, oh, does it look great? And I'm like, oh, no, it doesn't. So I don't know. Um, doing the bathroom now and ugh, don't even make me look at those base game tiles. All the base game tiles look dirty. And I mean that they all look like they've never been cleaned. They have this weird, like, slightly, yeah, just like dirty look about them. And it's like, why? I just want like a nice, clean, normal pair of tiles. I don't think they're a pair. Set? Set of tiles that is base game. They've done pretty good putting that like base game um, wall tile in, but I need some floor tiles because it triggers me. Everything triggers me. Do people say that anymore? I'm very behind on the times. I feel like once you leave school, you just don't know what is cool and what's not anymore. Not that when I was in school, that's particularly cool anyway, but <laughs> whatever. Um, so what I'm doing here is making like a little garden area. Um, I kind of wanted to do this in my actual house as well. I wanted to do like to gate off part of the garden and have like a walk in little garden thing. So I don't know, I actually think it looks really cute, but if I had this particular garden thing, my dogs would get in there and just like eat everything because they're like, I love them, but they're annoying. So <laughs> just going around doing my, us my usual stuff. So I like putting some shrubs in and I was kind of trying to make like little pavers, like little stepping stone kind of things. Um, I think that they turned out okay. My favourite are those, I think it comes with the get together pack and it's the round like little rock. It, it's in the um the floor mat section, but they are like rocks. They're my favourite to do that with. Um, yeah, I always have, I don't know, like I don't have trouble, but there's only like a certain amount of things you can put in gardens. So I just kind of go around and put in like all the planters that I can find. I think I put in something for the cat. Or, yeah, like, one of those things for, like, the cat. There's obviously a cat because it's a little box, and I don't think dogs use little boxes. Um, but, yeah, oh, we're into screenshots now. I always do that. I talk into them. All right. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will leave you to the screenshots, and I hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.